In this collection of inexplicable marvels captured through the lens, we'll venture into the scientific enigmas that continue to puzzle even the sharpest minds. Each photo unfolds a mystery. Inviting us to contemplate on the vast, unexplained phenomena that exist within our shared reality. Number 1. The Sailing Stones of Death Valley A desolate expanse of land, the Death Valley in California is infamous for its extreme temperature variations and barren landscapes. However, amongst these sandy dunes lies a phenomenon that has baffled scientists for many years. The enigmatic Sailing Stones. The racetrack Playa, a dried-up lake bed, is home to these peculiar stones. Ranging from mere pebbles to enormous boulders weighing up to 700 pounds, these stones seem to move on their own, leaving lengthy trails behind them etched into the ground. These trails vary from a few feet to several hundred feet, sometimes following a straight line but often making dramatic shifts in direction. Inexplicably, these stones appear to slide across the playa without any human or animal intervention, and this bizarre phenomenon has been captured in numerous photographs. What's even more intriguing is that these rocks move when no one is watching. Despite many attempts to observe these stones in action, nobody has witnessed the stones actually moving. For years, scientists have sought a plausible explanation for these sailing stones. Various theories have been proposed, from strong winds and hurricane-like weather to the action of ice sheets causing the stones to glide. In 2014, a research team proposed that, under certain winter conditions, nighttime ice would form and envelop the rocks. As the thin ice sheet begins to break up during the morning sun, wind would push these floating rocks along the saturated, slippery surface, leaving trails in the soft mud beneath. However, this theory only partially explains the phenomenon. It doesn't account for all the different types of tracks observed, or the instances when stones move without the specified conditions. Thus, while we have pictures capturing the aftermath of the stones' journeys and theories attempting to explain it, the sailing stones of Death Valley remain a captivating enigma, a symbol of the vast mysteries that nature still conceals from us. Number 2. The Hesdalen Lights one of the most bewildering atmospheric phenomena is the appearance of the mysterious Hesdalen lights in Norway. For several decades, locals and tourists alike have witnessed and photographed these inexplicably luminescent displays painting the night sky. They take on various shapes, sometimes appearing as bright orbs, other times forming long-lasting, undulating shafts of light. Their colors range from white and yellow to red and even blue. The Hestalen lights have intrigued scientists and sparked many theories about their origin. Some speculate that they could be the result of ionized iron dust suspended in the atmosphere. Others suggest that they might be a consequence of the piezoelectricity generated by the pressure and heat in the valley's quartz-rich soil. Yet none of these theories wholly satisfy the scientific community. Some lights move with speeds and patterns that defy traditional physics, zipping up and down and sometimes remaining motionless in the sky for more than an hour. The lack of a definitive explanation, coupled with the inability to predict their appearance, make the Hesdalen lights a fascinating enigma. The brilliant photos captured only add to the allure, showcasing an unexplained spectacle that continues to mystify the world. Number 3. The Hook Island Sea Monster Photo in the realm of cryptids, the Hook Island sea monster holds a significant place, primarily because of the striking photograph taken in 1964 by Robert Le Serec. The picture shows an enormous, tadpole-like creature in the waters of Stonehaven Bay, Hook Island, Queensland. In the photo, the creature appears to be massive, dark, and snake-like, with an estimated length of 80, 90 feet. The surface texture of the creature in the photo seems to be smooth with a visibly marked end, almost like the rounded head of a gigantic tadpole. Speculations abound, with some claiming it to be a surviving prehistoric creature, while skeptics dismiss it as a hoax, suggesting that the monster could be a plastic sheet or an undersea object viewed from an unusual angle. Despite various investigations, the image has yet to be definitively debunked or explained, 
placing the Hook Island sea monster photo amongst the most puzzling and controversial unexplained photos to date. Its enduring mystery continues to fuel conversations about what secrets the ocean depths might be hiding. Number 4. The Solway Firth Spaceman The Solway Firth Spaceman photograph is a truly bewildering image that has puzzled investigators since it was captured. Taken in 1964 by Jim Templeton in Berg by Sands, Cumbria, England, the photo shows Templeton's young daughter sitting in the foreground with what appears to be a figure in a spacesuit standing behind her. The spaceman wasn't visible to the naked eye when the picture was taken. The seemingly extraterrestrial figure prompted widespread speculation, and the image was even scrutinized by Kodak's experts, who confirmed its authenticity. Various theories were proposed, from the absurd, including claims of interdimensional beings and time travelers, to the more mundane, like Templeton's wife caught unawares in the shot. The most accepted explanation posits that the spaceman is actually Templeton's wife, who was present during the trip. The overexposure may have caused her blue dress to appear white, giving the impression of a spaceman. Yet this theory still leaves some questions unanswered. The figure's position and its unusually tall, slender structure do not fully align with the image of Mrs. Templeton. Despite this seemingly plausible explanation, the Solway Firth spaceman image continues to intrigue. It serves as a reminder that, in the world of photography, perception can often diverge from reality, causing unexpected mysteries to unfold. Number 5. The Cooper Family Falling Body Photo The Cooper Family Falling Body Photo is one of the most unnerving and inexplicable pictures in existence. Taken in the 1950s in Texas, the photograph was meant to be a cheerful family portrait of the Cooper family in their new home. However, when the photo was developed, it revealed a disturbing figure falling headfirst from the ceiling. The figure appears to be distorted, almost skeletal, and is falling or hanging in an odd, gravity-defying angle. The family claimed they did not witness anything unusual at the time of the picture, adding to the eeriness of the photograph. Numerous explanations have been proposed, from paranormal activity to simple photo tampering. Skeptics point to the suspiciously perfect framing of the falling body and the lack of shadow as evidence of a hoax. However, despite investigations, the photo has not been conclusively proven as either a genuine paranormal phenomenon or a well-crafted fake. The Cooper family falling body photo remains a testament to the unexplained serving as a haunting puzzle in the world of unexplained photographs. The chilling image continues to spark debates and send shivers down the spines of those who dare to delve into its mysterious origins. Number 6. The Black Knight Satellite The Black Knight Satellite is one of the most discussed and debated anomalies in the annals of space exploration. This elusive object was first allegedly detected in the late 1950s, around the dawn of the space age, even before satellites became commonplace in our skies. The object was described as an artificial satellite of unknown origin, orbiting Earth in a manner inconsistent with any known human-made object of the time. The Black Knight earned its fame in 1998, when astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor took a series of photographs. The images showed a peculiar, black, vaguely T-shaped object floating near the shuttle. The photos, released by NASA, stirred intense debate among UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Explanations for the Black Knight satellite range widely. Some believe it is an extraterrestrial probe, sent to observe Earth by an advanced alien civilization. Others claim it could be evidence of a secret, advanced, technological project. The most grounded explanations suggest it may simply be a piece of space debris, possibly a thermal blanket lost during a previous space mission. Despite various theories, the origin and purpose of the Black Knight satellite remain uncertain. The high-quality images of this strange object continue to intrigue, reminding us of the mysteries that space holds just beyond our reach. Number 7. The Babushka Lady The Babushka Lady is a figure who appears in numerous photos and films of President John F. Kennedy's motorcade at the time of his assassination in Dallas, Texas, on November 22, 1963. This mysterious woman, named after the Russian word for grandmother because of the headscarf she was wearing, was seen holding a camera, or possibly a video camera, and pointing it towards the motorcade at the time of the shooting. Despite numerous calls for the unknown woman to come forward and potentially provide crucial evidence, she never did. 
Investigators have never been able to identify her or locate the footage she appeared to be shooting. Over the years, many theories have emerged about the Babushka lady's identity and reasons for being there. Some propose she was a Russian spy, while others suggest she was part of a conspiracy to assassinate the president. Despite these speculations, the Babushka lady remains unidentified. The photos capturing the Babushka lady serve as an enigmatic piece of one of the most tragic events in American history. Her presence continues to add a layer of mystery to the already complex and conspiracy-laden assassination of JFK. Number 8. The McMinnville UFO Photos In the annals of ufology, few pictures have garnered as much attention and debate as the McMinnville UFO Photos. Taken by farmer Paul Trent in McMinnville, Oregon, in May 1950, the two black and white images depict what appears to be a flying saucer hovering in the sky. The Trents claimed to have witnessed the strange object move silently across their farm on an early evening. They took two photos before the object sped away. The pictures depict a somewhat disc-shaped object suspended in the air with a slight tilt. The photos were clear enough to show the object's concave bottom with a shape akin to what popular culture has often described as a flying saucer. Over the years, these photos have been subjected to numerous investigations and scientific analyses. Skeptics have suggested everything from an elaborate hoax involving suspended models to a misidentified mundane object like a hubcap. However, no definitive evidence of forgery has ever been uncovered. Even decades later, the McMinnville UFO photos stand among the most famous and debated images in UFO history. Whether evidence of extraterrestrial visitation, an elaborate prank, or an honest misidentification. These photos remain a captivating mystery, reminding us of the unexplained phenomena that occasionally punctuate our skies. Number 9. The Skunk Ape The Skunk Ape, often considered Florida's version of Bigfoot, is a creature of legend and intrigue. It has been reported to stand seven feet tall, walking on two legs, and exuding a horrific odor, thus earning its name. One of the most notable pieces of evidence suggesting the creature's existence is a photo mailed anonymously to the Sarasota Sheriff's Department in 2000. The sender claimed to have captured images of the creature in her backyard, seeking to eat apples from a bush. The photos depict a large, dark, ape-like figure lurking among the dense foliage. The creature's face appears to be obscured by the bush, with only its eyes and parts of its upper body visible. Despite numerous examinations of the images, no conclusive determination about the creature's identity has been reached. Some experts suggest it may be an escaped orangutan or a cleverly crafted hoax, while others believe it could indeed represent an unknown species. The skunk ape photos add a tantalizing piece to the puzzle of cryptozoology, opening the door to questions about undiscovered species and the reliability of eyewitness accounts. As with many such enigmas, definitive proof remains elusive leaving the skunk ape as an enduring mystery of the Florida Everglades. Number 10. The Belgian UFO Wave One of the most significant UFO sightings in history is the Belgian UFO Wave, which occurred from November 1989 to April 1990. During this period, an estimated 13,500 people across Belgium reported sightings of large, silent, low-flying triangular objects decked with bright lights. The peak of the wave occurred on the night of March 30, 1991. The Belgian Air Force even scrambled F-16 jets to investigate the reports, but were unable to make any concrete S. One image, in particular, has become emblematic of the Belgian UFO wave. A blurry photo depicting a triangular object with lights at its corners and a brighter one in the center. Critics have suggested that the object could be a secret military aircraft, while others assert it could be misidentified stars or planets, or even a hoax. Despite the doubts, no one has definitively debunked the Belgian UFO wave or the photo associated with it. The Belgian UFO wave and the infamous photograph that accompanied it remain compelling because of the scale of the sightings and the range of the witnesses involved. It continues to be one of the most extensively documented and unexplained UFO waves to date. Number 11. The Ghost of Freddie Jackson In a group photograph of a World War I squadron of the Royal Naval Air Service, an unexpected face appears, one that was not meant to be there, that of Freddie Jackson. 
Jackson, a mechanic, had accidentally walked into a moving airplane propeller and died two days before the photograph was taken. His funeral coincided with the day of the photograph. Jackson's face appears behind one of the officers, recognizable to his comrades. His face is somewhat ghostly, a bit out of focus compared to the others, but it unmistakably resembles him. Skeptics have proposed that Jackson's image might have been the result of double exposure or even a simple mistake in identifying another person as Jackson. Yet none of these explanations has been conclusively proven. Jackson's comrades insisted that the face was indeed his. The photograph of Freddie Jackson's ghost remains a fascinating case study for those interested in the paranormal. It offers a tantalizing glimpse into the unexplained, blurring the lines between the physical world and what might exist beyond. Number 12. The Specter of Newby Church In 1963, Reverend K. F. Lord captured a photograph of the altar at the Newby Church in North Yorkshire, England, which upon development revealed a startling apparition. The image displays what appears to be a spectral figure wearing a cowl and standing on the right side of the altar. The apparition, often referred to as the Newby Monk, or the Specter of Newby Church, is estimated to be nine feet tall, with a ghastly face partially concealed by the draping of its garment. It appears semi-transparent, with the altar clearly visible through its form. The photograph has been scrutinized by numerous photography experts, with no evidence of double exposure or tampering found. Despite the clarity and the lack of an explanation, some critics believe the image to be a carefully staged hoax, possibly using a model or a carefully arranged piece of cloth. However, no solid proof supporting these claims has been presented, and the photograph continues to be one of the most compelling and debated pieces of evidence in favor of the existence of ghosts. The specter of Newby Church remains an enigmatic figure, challenging our understanding of the world beyond the living. Number 13. The Madonna with St. Giovannino UFO In the world of unexplained phenomena, the past is as full of mysteries as the present. One such mystery is hidden in plain sight within Domenico Ghirlandaio's 15th century painting, The Madonna with St. Giovannino. Above Mary's right shoulder, a dark object hovers in the sky, with a man and his dog looking at it in the backdrop. The object appears to be a disc-like shape with radiant edges, akin to the classic image of a UFO. Its presence in the painting has sparked many debates, with some suggesting it might be an indication of extraterrestrial visitation in the distant past. Skeptics often argue that the UFO might represent a religious symbol or motif rather than a flying saucer. The man's gesture could be a typical depiction of awe towards a divine phenomenon. Despite the explanations, the exact nature and interpretation of the object in the painting remain uncertain. The Madonna with St. Giovannino continues to hold its mysterious allure, leaving us to ponder whether the truth is an earthly explanation or something far more extraterrestrial. Number 14. The Watertown Ghosts in 1924, a chilling photo known as the Watertown Ghosts was captured aboard the SS Watertown. The photo was taken during a voyage between the Panama Canal and New York City and features two faces appearing in the water alongside the ship. The faces were identified as those of James Courtney and Michael Meehan, two crewmen who had recently died from gas poisoning while cleaning a cargo tank. Following maritime tradition, their bodies were buried at sea. After the burial, the crew reported seeing their faces in the water, and Captain Keith Tracy ordered a photograph to be taken. Once developed, the photograph showed what appeared to be two faces in the water, closely resembling the deceased crewman. The photo has been examined by several experts, and, though a definitive explanation has never been reached, no evidence of a hoax has been found. The Watertown Ghost's photograph remains a baffling image. Whether a case of pareidolia, seeing faces where none exist, an unusual play of light and water, or a glimpse into the supernatural, it continues to intrigue those who encounter it. Number 15. The Face on Mars In 1976, NASA's Viking 1 orbiter captured an image of a formation in the Cydonia region of Mars that resembled a humanoid face. The formation, measuring approximately two kilometers long and known as the Face on Mars, quickly sparked public interest and speculation about intelligent life on Mars. The image, 
taken from a height of approximately 1,867 kilometers, shows a formation with eyes, a nose, and a mouth, giving the appearance of a face. Some suggested it was evidence of an ancient civilization, while others believed it was a trick of light and shadow. Subsequent images taken by other Mars missions showed the formation in higher resolution, making it appear less face-like and more natural. Despite this, some still believe the formation to be a constructed monument. The face on Mars serves as a reminder of our fascination with the possibility of life beyond Earth and the interpretations we can derive from the images sent back by our space probes. Its image, imprinted in the popular consciousness, continues to symbolize the ongoing quest for extraterrestrial life. Number 16. The Phoenix Lights the Phoenix Lights event is one of the most famous and well-documented UFO sightings in history. On March 13, 1997, thousands of Arizona residents observed a series of stationary lights and a large V-shaped object passing over Phoenix and other cities. The event consisted of two phases. The first involved a V-shaped object, described as large enough to cover much of the sky, moving silently across the state. The second phase involved a series of stationary lights seen over Phoenix, which were captured in photographs and videos by numerous witnesses. The official explanation given by the military was that the lights were flares dropped for training exercises. However, many witnesses reject this explanation due to the duration of the event, the distance covered by the lights, and the silent, steady movement of the large craft. Photos and videos of the Phoenix lights show a string of glowing orbs or a V-shaped formation, creating an impressive visual spectacle. Despite attempts at rational explanations, the scale of the sightings, the number of witnesses, and the lack of a universally accepted explanation have cemented the Phoenix Lights as a major event in UFO history. Number 17. The Lady of the Lighthouse, St. Augustine Light. St. Augustine Lighthouse, located in Florida, is one of the oldest lighthouses in the United States and is famous for its reported hauntings. The most well-known of these is the apparition of a woman on the lighthouse staircase, often referred to as the Lady of the Lighthouse. The figure is thought to be the spirit of Maria Mestre de los Dolores Andreu, the first female lighthouse keeper in Florida. She tragically died after falling from the lighthouse tower. Photographs of the ghostly figure often show a blurry image of a woman in old-fashioned clothing, standing on the staircase or near the top of the lighthouse. Skeptics propose that these could be the result of tricks of light or intentional hoaxes, yet no concrete debunking has been achieved. The Lady of the Lighthouse adds an intriguing layer to the rich history of St. Augustine Light, blending the historical with the unexplainable, and providing a tantalizing glimpse into the world of the paranormal. Number 18. The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall Raynham Hall in Norfolk, England, is famed for the haunting by the Brown Lady, named after the brown brocade dress she is often seen wearing. The most famous sighting, however, is not a first-hand account, but a photograph taken in 1936 by Captain Hubert Provand and his assistant, Indre Shira. Published in the December 1936 issue of Country Life magazine, the photograph depicts a ghostly figure descending the house's grand staircase. This ethereal figure is thought to be Lady Dorothy Walpole, the sister of Britain's first Prime Minister, Robert Walpole. According to the legend, Lady Dorothy was locked in the mansion by her husband after he discovered her infidelity and was never allowed to leave until her death. Skeptics have suggested double exposure or other photographic tricks might be responsible for the ghostly image. Still, no definitive debunking of the photo has been put forward. The haunting image of the brown lady remains one of the most famous and captivating ghost photographs in history, providing a tantalizing piece of evidence in the debate about the existence of the paranormal. Number 19. The Pyramids of Antarctica the concept of pyramids in Antarctica is a subject of fascination and controversy. The idea gained popularity when satellite imagery showed formations that appear pyramid-like in the frozen wastes of Antarctica. The structures, if man-made, would radically change our understanding of human history. The most famous of these pyramids is a four-sided structure captured on satellite imagery. The sides appear to align with the cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, similar to the famous pyramids of Egypt. 
Critics, however, suggest these structures are likely the result of natural geological processes known as erosion and glaciation. These processes can create pyramid-like shapes, particularly in glaciated areas like Antarctica. Despite scientific skepticism, the images of the supposed Antarctic pyramids have fueled a multitude of theories, from lost ancient civilizations to extraterrestrial involvement. As it stands, the pyramids of Antarctica remain an intriguing anomaly, a point of intersection between satellite technology, geological forces, and the boundless human imagination. Number 20. The Mystery of the Baltic Sea Anomaly In 2011, a Swedish oceanic exploration team, Ocean X, discovered a peculiar formation on the floor of the Baltic Sea. The object, often referred to as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, immediately sparked widespread speculation and debate due to its unusual shape and characteristics. The anomaly, captured on sonar, is approximately 60 meters in diameter and appears to be resting on a pillar, rising 8 meters above the sea floor. The object displays straight lines and sharp angles, making it look oddly geometric and seemingly artificial. It has been likened to the shape of the Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars franchise. Various theories have been proposed to explain the anomaly, ranging from the remnants of a World War II Nazi anti-submarine device to a crashed UFO. Others believe it could be a natural geological formation, possibly a glacial deposit from the Ice Age. One of the most intriguing aspects of the anomaly is the reported electrical malfunctions experienced by divers when they were in proximity to the object, fueling further speculation about its origins. Despite numerous expeditions to the site, no definitive explanation has been found. The material samples retrieved were determined to be of a volcanic rock known as basalt, though this didn't clarify whether the formation was natural or man-made. The Baltic Sea anomaly remains an enigma, its true nature hidden beneath the depths of the sea. It continues to captivate the public and the scientific community alike, serving as a testament to the enduring allure of unexplained phenomena and the mysteries that our oceans still hold.